I don't know what is the question, my lord. He's addressing the yeah. political rally of some sort. Mr. what's your question? I'll ask you a very simple question. Is it the case that you hold white people as a group liable for the sins of their fathers? Yes. What's your question? I'll ask you a very simple question. Is it the case that you hold white people as a group liable for the sins of their fathers? Yes. Yes, correct. Now, I'm putting it to you that that is racist. That if individuals <coughs> were held accountable for the sins of other people who happen to share their animal counts, there are black people, as you will accept, have committed the crimes of murder, rape, theft. It would be improper to make a claim that all black people are murderous, thieves, and rapists. That would be racist to do so. Would you accept that? My brother. When the white people came here and took our land, they didn't come and take our land as an individual. They took it as settlers and then pushed <coughs> us to well, like, uh, sardines in congested environments with no economic opportunities. It is white people who must be ashamed of what they've done to us. You cannot turn tables now and want to blame me for the crimes committed by white people. It is a white regime that killed children in 1976. It is the white regime that killed children <coughs> in the 80s and in the early 90s. It is white people who engaged in the wars of dispossession and forcefully took our land and our cows. Why can't you take responsibility? Why can't Who must be ashamed of what they've done to us? You cannot turn tables now and want to blame me for the crimes committed by white people. It is a white regime that killed children in 1976. It is a white regime that killed children <coughs> in the 80s and in the early 90s. It is white people who engaged in the wars of dispossession and forcefully took our land and our cows. Why can't you take responsibility? Why can't you for once just say sorry for the crimes we have committed against you? Why do you want to become victims when we are the biggest victims here? When we have lost everything? When we for the crimes we have committed against you? Why do you want to become victims when we are the biggest victims here? When we have lost everything? When we as black people remain a, a traumatized nation? A nation that doesn't know what the future holds for them? At least you are guaranteed the future. At least you know if it doesn't work for you here, you can go somewhere else. We've got a nation that doesn't know what the future holds for them. At least you are guaranteed the future. At least you know if it doesn't work for you here, you can go somewhere else. We've got nowhere to go. And then you come here and want to accuse me, a victim of racism, of being a racist. It's a huge insult, not only to me, but to black people here and want to accuse me, a victim of racism, of being a racist. It's a huge insult, not only to me, but to black people. Madiba coerced us into reconciling with people who have never been one with. That was a myth. It is unrealistic. You can't reconcile if you've never been together. Siding with people who have never been one with. That was a myth. It is unrealistic. You can't reconcile if you've never been together. You never came here with an intention to be with us. You came here with an intention to conquer us. See, and we remain conquered. You're using this term, you. And this is the textual reality. You want to say that you, me, white people, you are the same as people from 1652, from 350 years ago. You are the same. the same. You are the same. You With an intention to conquer us, See, and we remain conquered. You're using this term, you, and this is the textual reality. You want to say that you, me, white people, you are the same as people from 1652, 
from 350 years ago. You are the same. You are the same. You are the same. Shalom, shalom, I'm Yasharala. All praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Kudash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the legmen feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, and sincerity and truth with this great gospel coming out of our Bible. Coming out of our Bible, man. And um, these devils, they refuse to take responsibility for their, um, their actions. Right, a history of violence. Now they want to act like they had nothing to do with it, but they want to enjoy the benefits of their parents, of their forefathers' actions. And we know through reincarnation, they are back again. These are the same people that were doing the atrocities back then. Now they act like, oh, no, no. Well, you want to say we're the same people as the 1600s? Yeah, you are the same people. You are the same bloodline of what? Who? The wicked. <laughs> the wicked, right? I'm reading the book of. Zechariah 11 and 5, it says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, right? These devils feel like, man, they ain't done nothing wrong. Don't blame them for what their forefathers did. That was a long time ago. Let bygones be bygones, right? We need to move on, but they ain't never moved on because their whole political system is built off the backs of who? Israelites, right? Israelites and people of darker na the darker nations, really the whole earth, right? Because he's in control right now. He's in rulership. And um, you gotta understand, we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Those people, a lot of people in South Africa are Israelites. Are Israelites. I'm gonna read Zechariah 11 and 5. It says, Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Like, how did these devils get what they got through what? Enslaving people, who the, mainly the Israelites. Right? Mainly the Israelites put in hardcore labor. Right? And after they so-called freed us, we still were under their, what, rulership. Still under their rulership. I'm reading the book of Baruch 3 and 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Yeah, if you're in, if you're Israelite and you're alive, yeah, you are, your ass is in captivity. You are underneath other nations. Yeah, your face is not on the money. And even the countries where your face is on the money, that value, that money ain't shit. It ain't nothing, right? You got to go to the UN, to the EU. The breaks, you got to go to these heathens what, to, to make for, to, for, the, for decisions of your country, right? It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. The Lord our power. And who did the Lord send against us these nations? these other nations, these Gentile nations, right? They came together in one consent against who the chosen ones, the, the holy people of the Lord. Chiefly Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the so-called white man, and he refused to take responsibility for his actions, right? He wants you to pay for your crime. He wants you to pay for your crimes, but he don't want to pay for his crimes, right? The Lord said what he required for what passed. It's the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. It says, That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and the most high require of that which is past. Yeah, the things that you have done in the past. And the one thing we know that Esau Edom has not paid for none of his sins of his fathers, man. These Edomites died rich and left it to their children, to their children's children, right? That's why these Edomites got free land, free houses, free college right more money right they got the best of how can we say the society has to offer because this is their time to rule this is the book of luke 21 and 24 and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations that's talking about us israelites you negroes hispanics native americans haitians jamaicans the israelites scattered throughout these other nations man your ass is in captivity. It says, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And we know it's a lot of Israelites in Africa who's being trodden down. You had apartheid and all these different atrocities committed by Esau, Edom. And now that the tables is turning, Jake is getting power back on the earth. These devils, they want you to forget Right now they want to offer you money. <laughs> they want to offer you money. 
right? They want to, um, you got a bunch of Edomites asking for forgiveness, apologizing. An apology ain't going to fucking fix it. An apology ain't going to fix it. Lamentations 2 and 16. All thine enemies have opened their mouths against thee. They hiss and gnash their, the teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up, right? These devils, they feel like, man, we will never be able to bring them down. That's why... It's not going to be us who brings them down. It's going to be Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Coming back to take vengeance for the saints. <laughs> right? It says, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. We wait for the Lord to return to take vengeance on these devils. Right? It ain't going to work through no um, po politics, voting. You can't vote these motherfuckers out of power. Right? Because the people who are in power, they ain't dealing with that voting shit. <laughs> Right, the elite families, you can't vote the elites out of power. The Lord is going to have to take their asses out of power. I'm reading it again. It says, Lamentation 2 and 16. All thine enemies have opened their mouths against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we looked for. We have found. We have seen it, right? <laughs> like, they so happy that they got brought us down. Right? They say, well, we are rich. <laughs> Right? That's how they feel. Here's the book of Joshua 7 and 12. It says, Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies because they were accursed. Right? Yeah, we're under a curse. There's no way we could fight our enemies, man, because the Lord put us in this position, right? Fighting against the enemies like fighting against the Lord. I read again, Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies but turn their backs before their enemies because they were accursed. Neither will I be with you anymore except ye destroy accursed from among you. Right? What's the Lord about to do? The Lord's about to destroy the wicked motherfuckers from amongst us and save the elect. And save the elect and then boil you shit. He's going to get the elect, the two-thirds and the wicked at the same time when he come back with that fire. Right? The perdition of ungodly men. That is what is coming <laughs> In 2 Kings 21 and 14, and I will forsake the remnant of my inheritance and deliver them into the hand of their enemies. And they shall become a prey and a spoil to all of their enemies, man. And that's the situation we're facing. Right? And these devils, they're not going to apologize for what they have done to our people. That's not what they were created to do. They were created to, to destroy us, right? They're the sword of the Lord. Let's get that. Book of Psalms 17 and 13, it reads, Arise, Yahweh, arise, O Yahweh, and disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right? And the Lord said he was gonna visit us with, with swords, famine, and all type of plagues. Right? So Esau Edom is one of the swords that was used to punish us as a people. And really, all he's doing is fulfilling his lot. He's serving his purpose on earth. <laughs> until it's time for his ass to be removed out of power. This is the book of Lamentations 4 and 22. It reads, the, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will, no long, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. Yeah, this is our last captivity. It's the last time we have to serve other nations. This is the last time we have to feel pain and suffering. After this, we will be made immortal. We will be ruling over these other nations forever. The punishment of thine inheritance punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished O daughter of Zion he will no longer he will no more carry thee away into captivity he will visit thine iniquity O daughter of Edom he will discover thy sins yeah so after us it's what Esau's time to what <laughs> taste of that cup it's Lamentations 4 and 21 it reads rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of us right the Lord didn't say um repent Edom the Lord didn't say apologize, Edom. The Lord said rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. That dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through thee, and thou shalt be drunken and shall be and shall make thyself naked. Alright, it's not looking good for the future of Esau Edom. It's not looking good at all. <laughs>